The importance of precision bracket placement is based on several principles that will be outlined in this video. The tip of the first bicuspid will approximate the edge of the central incisor as first described by Dr. Kalanji. These before and after photos are a result of that placement technique. Sometimes we adjust incisal edges prior to impressions to allow more accurate bracket placement. The TurboMax Alginate Centrifuge and Raintree Essex Color Change Alginate yields the most accurate alginate impression we have found to date. Brackets are placed on a marked model port of resin reinforced stone painted with a separator solution. We use AVEX MX Micro Milled Brackets from Opal Orthodontics which have the most accurate slot dimension. We create the custom base using Opal Bond MV and Cure in a triad machine. We then follow a technique developed by Dr. Duncan Higgins. Emiluma is a clear PVS impression material that has very low tear strength for easy release and is ideal for the first layer of the custom tray. Slumping can be reduced by adding several layers in a back and forth motion. We encase all sides of the bracket to reduce flash. Excess material is then trimmed when hardened. The second layer of the custom tray uses the Drew Fomat thermoforming machine from Raintree Essex. We prefer the thickness of the .03 Essex Ace Plastic. The barcode scanner programs the time and air pressure required for a consistent outer plastic tray. After trimming, the model is soaked for several hours or overnight. We micro etch the custom base with SA85 abrasive powder. This removes model and separator residue, yet does not remove the custom base of adhesive. After rinsing and drying, the brackets are ready for patient delivery. The brackets are coated with a thin layer of Opal Bond Flow flowable adhesive then thinned with a micro brush. This final coat should not be done until the patient is seated to prevent ambient light curing, but the light shield is helpful. The entire facial surface of the tooth is etched with opal etch, which is self-limiting and does not allow etching too deep. Opal seal is painted on the rinsed and dried tooth surface, then air thinned. The tray is placed by the doctor and visually checked for occlusal and buccal adaptation. We use the Velo curing light, which is a low profile 90 degree plasma simulation light, for a three second cure occlusal to each bracket. This close proximity to each bracket and wide collimation of light yields quick curing and minimizes early bond failure. Additional curing increases early bond strength after the outer tray is removed. After arch wires are replaced, bite bonders can be added to the anterior or posterior teeth depending on the depth of bite. I would like to thank Dr. John Kalanji and Dr. Duncan Higgins who have guided me through the learning process of precision bracket placement.